I can't believe it took me until I was 28 years old to learn this. So let's not get tired of doing what is good. At just the right time, we will reap a harvest of blessing if we don't give up. Hey everyone, it's Natalie. Welcome to my channel for this Get It All Done With Me video. I'm sharing with you a productive day in my life as we settle into the fall season here with some decluttering, homemaking, some YouTube creator behind the scenes stuff, and getting my three kids ready for their first day back to school. I hope you enjoyed today's video and that you get some motivation from it or at least some encouragement for where you're at today. I always want to share what real life looks like for me with some positivity and to be a cozy spot in your YouTube watch list. So if you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button and let me know what kind of day you're having today by commenting with just emojis. I think this could be really fun. My emojis are in the pinned comment. Be sure to check that out and let's get this day started. Good morning. I'm coming at you with a hair towel and just kind of basic clothing. Hi Haley. Someone was playing dolls in my bed while I took a shower this morning. I am feeling tired. I actually had a really rough weekend. We're coming off of Labor Day weekend here in the US. Um, and I had some health issues going on. I'm not gonna get into that in this video, but I was in bed for most of the weekend and it was not fun. And so I have a little bit of catching up to do. I'm going to be um, filming my coffee video today. My sister Anna's gonna be over this afternoon to do that. It's almost time to get the kids some breakfast, uh, but I usually make them wait for me to get my quiet time done and a little bit of tidying done. They're used to it. They have their morning quiet time. Today is such a slow Low morning for me that I even let them play their tablet this morning. Unicorn moment for my kids. So I'm going to tidy up my room, get stuff straightened out, uh, get my hair brushed and out of this oh towel, and then on to oh other God. things on my to-do list oh today. That's better. On to do some laundry. <laughs> what are they doing? Watching a movie. They're watching a movie. All of this stuff is what I found in my room from Haley. Haley's favorite spot to play is mommy's room. So she brings all of her toys in there. <laughs> and then it turns into a mess. And we have another headless Elsa. But it's looking better in here. Ah, oh, there's nothing like having a clean and tidy and freshened up master bedroom. I just want to open these blinds. So typically this part of the day is underway by about 6.30 in the morning, seven at the latest. It's pushing eight, <laughs> but I think one of the reasons for that is my kids also got up late because we were up later last night with the holiday. They weren't up until about 20 minutes ago. I've been focusing on some daily habits to just kind of keep me on track. Things that are like not necessarily a to-do list, but more of like an anchor for the points of my day. Especially because I work full time from home and I homeschool my kids, there's a lot of like blurred lines when it comes to what's work time, what's family time, what's school time. I'm sure a lot of you can relate, especially now that we have you know, so much more time at home with the pandemic and everything. It, the whole multitasking thing in your house and the spaces in your home being used for multiple purposes, it can be a blessing, but it also can uh, really take a lot of discipline and um, forethought and like planning. So speaking of planning, um, I wanna show you my new favorite thing. And this is my iPad. Um, <laughs> and it has completely changed the game for me for our productivity. I use GoodNotes for a daily planner, which I actually made for myself 
on the other app that I use the most, which is Procreate. Yes. <laughs> Someone chose to name their art app Procreate. Either the person has a really sneaky sort of sense of humor or they're completely oblivious. So anytime I have little graphics on my screen, um, little animations, uh, handwriting to give a little note or whatever, or like a little doodle that moves, um, I make it in the Procreate app. Uh, which is so fun and I've really enjoyed putting that into my videos lately. It was actually the number one reason I wanted to get the iPad and had been looking into it for about a year. I just kind of wanted to get to the next level when it came to editing and I know a lot of you have been enjoying the little animations and doodles and stuff like that. But while getting to know the iPad, I've also really fallen in love with doing my planning there because I can write. On the iPad I have the Apple pencil I usually stay away from planners and stuff that are digital because you have to type everything and I'm a handwriting pen on paper sort of person um, but I lose my notebooks or I'll start one and not finish it and have multiple going um, and it's hard for me to keep them organized and so having it all in one place is so wonderful so I thought I would just quickly share with you like what a day snapshot looks like so this was my to-do list from yesterday I um, had all of these things that I needed to get done, so I wrote them in my own handwriting here in GoodNotes. I have a to-do list for stuff that I need to do for work, specifically to keep it separate from the stuff that I need to do for home. Um, I needed to set a grocery order, which I did. These were the different places that I went. I've got a little water intake tracker, which I should probably give it a couple more checks because I ended up drinking more water. Um, but it's just been working really well for me. And I have this little verse at the top, Galatians 6, 9. So let's not get tired of doing what is good. At just the right time, we will reap a harvest of blessing if we don't give up. That's what I've been trying to focus on, not giving up. Um, so here's the planner for today that I'm about to write out. Sometimes I will do this the morning of, and if I have time in the evening, sometimes I will fill it out in the evening. And you guys will see that uh, put in the template there, um, even if I haven't written anything in GoodNotes, are my morning habits, my afternoon habits, and my evening habits, which I keep a separate little um, page for to remind me what those are. I'm also starting to put together a weekly habits thing. This is kind of a work in progress here. Just stuff that I want to remind myself of for um, like weekly things, tasks that I should remember to do. And then I'm going to work on today's to-do list, 9, 8, 20. It's coffee day, we're filming today. But I'm gonna write out my to-do list here and then get the kids some breakfast. <laughs> I've been making myself minute oats for breakfast every morning lately. It seems to be the only thing my tummy can handle right now during this weird health phase that I'm going through. And while it cooks for a minute and a half or so, I challenge myself to get this dishwasher unloaded in that time. We have been setting the dishwasher to go every single night, whether it's full or not, and I've been unloading it every single morning, and it has been a game changer for staying on top of the dishes. It sounds so simple, and I can't believe it took me until I was 28 years old to learn this, <laughs> but I've learned it, and I'm so happy about it. I'm wasting time. Gotta get this unloaded.
Yes, put your plate in the sink. <laughs> Good job, guys. Thanks for taking your plates up. I swear, as soon as I empty that sink, it gets full again. Okay, breakfast is done. I've got a little bit of cleanup to do. The kids are playing in the living room with some puzzles right now. They're playing together really well in the living room right now, which makes me very happy. I'm gonna tidy up in here, and then I'm gonna clear off this cube unit here. It has some of our homeschooling stuff on it and a couple other things right now. But I'm going to use this surface to lay out each recipe for my coffee video so that I have everything right in front of me and grouped into the individual recipes. I'm making three recipes like I usually do for my coffee favorite videos, but I think it would be easier to kind of have everything separated out and organized so that it's super easy to just make those recipes and film it when Anna gets here. I just have some stuff in here that I need to set out and some other stuff around the house that I've gotten for this video. So I'm gonna set you guys up on a tripod and I'm going to set this up here, do a little bit of cleaning around the kitchen, get those dishes in the dishwasher, wipe everything down and get it sparkling and ready for filming today. Right now I think it would be a good time for me to do my hair and makeup. I'm ready to kind of refresh what's going on. I've been getting some breakouts on my forehead. This is stress here. <laughs> I'm ready to feel more like myself and just get refreshed and get my hair styled. Oh, I need to plug in my extra battery for my DSLR. Glad I remembered that. That wasn't even on my to-do list. There it is. I'm gonna go plug it in in the kitchen so that it's close at hand when the first battery dies, because it always does, because we do a lot of filming. And there we go. The little lunches are ready for them. I'm trying to be quiet about it so that they don't ask me for it, because it's not time yet. They're still digesting breakfast. Oh. Que ce matin le soleil peine à colorer le ciel voudrait prolonger les vacances partir en convalescence So before I do my face I'm going to read to them because they need some mama time the hair is done I think. <laughs> I usually throw it up in a different style for one of the um, coffee recipes. I've made uh, several of these videos. What you may not know is that all of the recipes are filmed in the same day, even though I like, change my outfit and we change location. Now we are going to read the Brambley Hedge 
I love this so much. Okay, so Marie from Marie Bits and Clips, um, she was sharing this over on her Instagram, this collection of stories. So the little pictures that pop up in between really remind me of Beatrix Potter, like the style, but like the bigger pictures are so detailed and so intricate and just so much fun to look at. There's just so much to look at. You could literally stare at a page for an hour and still miss stuff. There's so many little details. These are my favorite, like when they do a cross section of like one of their little buildings or little mousy holes. It's just amazing to look at all of these details. Bro, well, why is there a long... That, this is the, the one about the secret staircase. We could read this one today. I want it, I want yeah. it, I want it. Okay, let's do that. Midwinter, he called. At last the log was here. The midwinter celebrations could begin. A fire had been laid ready in the hearth of the great hall and the log was rolled onto it. que ce matin le soleil Peine à colorer le ciel Voudrait prolonger les vacances what do we have for lunch today, Judah? Fuzzy strawberries. Fuzzy strawberries. Not fuzzy with mold with their own little hairs. We have strawberries, snap peas, a little roll up cut into what the kids call sushi. We call this kids sushi, even though all the kids like normal sushi rolls. Um, and then we have a cheese stick. What's the first thing you grabbed? Um, snap peas? Eh? Are those your favorite? Are you my little bunny rabbit child? Mom. What? Why is there baby beans in this? Because that's where they grow. So while they're eating, I'm gonna get my face on. I've been sitting here on the floor in front of my bedroom window because it has the best light and I have this mirror right here. I kind of have to look through my plants to get to it. Gotta get this done really quick before Anna gets here. every makeup look off with the Pixi Hydrating Milky Mist. I've used this for so many years. <sighs> Nothing compares. Nothing compares. High-end drugstore, this is the best. The face is on. I'm still in my house clothing. Wasn't able to really cover these up, but you know what? It's real skin. It's real life. I don't wear foundation. I just do spot concealing and then just kind of like an overall with a little bit of powder, and it works for me. My skin can't figure out if it's a 14-year-old boy or a 40-year-old woman. So while it's trying to make up its mind, a little bit of makeup helps. Um, but I actually have some outfits picked out. I laid them all out on my bed. That's part of what I did last night. Um, so I'm gonna lay them out again because I have them in this laundry basket here. And Anna should be here any minute now. Anna's here. Hi, Hi Anna. Hi. I'm just gonna pick up the camera. Um, I think I'm gonna be wearing this. I keep going back and forth on what I'm going to be wearing. But I got my French press all polished and shiny, my espresso machine all polished and shiny. There's a third type of coffee that I'm making that you'll have to go watch that video to see what it is. I have all of my recipes right here. So we are gonna get started. And it's very warm outside, but at least we have the AC on to make us feel like it's fall time. We've got half and half house going right now. Clean and sparkling, crazy and chaotic. <laughs> you can tell which room I'm not allowing the children in right now. Yeah, 
smells the so coffee. good. <laughs> I love you. Yeah, yeah, go put it on. Show me how you play with your track. Let me do that again. Yeah, just a little weirdo. Haley, no, stop. But we don't have to get. Oop, I'm dripping. Go spilling it again. What is my deal? Haley, stop pushing the maple tree. <laughs> Sorry. Be. Yeah, it was like on my shoulder. It likes the smell of the sugar. Yeah. Yes, it's so pretty. Okay, we can call it a day. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, pretty girl. Okay, now both rooms are absolute disasters, but that's what happens when we film. And it is warm. I need to uh, film my little um, detail shots of the coffee, which is something that I do because I don't need someone else holding the camera for that. So I'm gonna do that, clean up the kitchen, and then make dinner and re-mess up the kitchen again. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> Guess who's home? Dad. 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 <laughs> Filming the coffee recipes went really well. I always love having my sister Anna's help. I will link her Instagram in the description box if you guys want to check her out. She's such a sweetheart, and her baby is due at the end of March next year. It is so loud in my house right now. <laughs> I had set a Kroger grocery delivery for some stuff for dinner tonight that I needed to complete dinner. It wasn't all of the ingredients, but it was a few really important ones. I don't know what happened. It's like my order just kind of floated out into cyberspace and no one ever got it and fulfilled it and delivered it. I literally cannot talk right now. It is so loud in my house. I'm just trying to say QFC never delivered my order. So the kids are having chicken nuggets for dinner and Weston and I are gonna fend for ourselves. We have a bunch of leftovers from over the weekend. A little decluttering project that I'm gonna try to tackle tonight because I just had something delivered from Amazon to get that done. They still have their lunches to pack, clothes to set out for their first day of school tomorrow, a couple of things to put together for that. This is why some vloggers just narrate their day in the life videos or routine videos. But I want you to get the full effect of what my life is like. Complete with little voices and one big one. I'm starting to pick out clothes for the kids to wear tomorrow and then I realized a couple of their stuff um, had been sitting in the closet a little bit too long and I wanted to freshen it up. So it's in a quick cycle in the washing machine right now. They're in a quick cycle in the bath. Justin's watching them while they bathe and I am going to do a quick declutter of our TV console. into this. How crazy is that? There are a few things here like old Xbox games Where and stuff. Where are all your games? Away. And there's extras like we had on the Blu-ray Lord of the Rings Cinderella. extended edition. Uh, but then we also had these which are not the extended edition that are like completely this unopened. One? I don't know where we got these. A lot of this stuff is literally from you before we got married. 
This there's stuff in here that's like 15 years old. Oh, that's great. We have wedding photography CDs, a few of the theater shows that I w was in, and so that's kind of a category on its own. And then we have kids DVDs. Look at those. That turns into Christmas stuff. And we have some Star Wars, some Lord of the Rings, and Hobbit. And then back here we have more of like the adult movies. No, that sounded wrong. <laughs> like Emma, Anchorman, stuff that they wouldn't watch. We're zipping up all the DVDs. Yes, we are. Okay, I'll put this back in. Or do, here? Yep. Here? Look at that. Okay, well the kids are burning off the last of their energy, as you can see. What? I'm talking to the camera. Oh. And I just finished up the decluttering in here. We got rid of so much stuff in here. So I'm gonna later on have Weston rewire what's going on here, because it's a little tangled up, because we added a couple of things, but we kind of need to start from square one. Um, and like fix how that looks. But other than that, we have just the little weights here that are mostly out in the garage that I need to replenish. And then we have one bin with some like devotions material and then the case for the DVDs. And then this bin is just like the Nintendo Switch stuff. And that is all that is in here. That took me 15 minutes to do and it was 15 minutes well spent. We got backpacks hung by the door ready for school tomorrow. <laughs> Yay, are you so excited? Yes. Boing. Boing. Someone is so excited for school tomorrow. I love you. I love you. Are you so excited for your first day of preschool tomorrow? Yes. Boing. <laughs> okay, can we jump? Yep, jump. Boing. Is that how, whoa, how excited you are? Boing, 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 boing. Look at you. In your matching jammies with your dolly. What's your dolly's name? Um, Julie doll. Julie doll. Well, I have a ton of stuff to take out to the trailer to declutter. Unfortunately, this stuff really can't be donated because it's DVD cases and like who wants that? I'm trying to be conscious of what we donate because yeah. thrift stores and donation centers can really be overwhelmed by stuff that they can't resell. So you have to be kind of conscious about what you're donating versus what you're passing on to people and what you're throwing away or recycling. So unfortunately, not too much stuff can actually be donated and be of any use to anyone but I am yes. glad to have it out of my yes, house. Dad. And now we're gonna get the kids to bed, and then after that, I have lunches to pack, some vacuuming to do, and then yeah. I think Good. I'll be Honey, done for the day. You don't have to vacuum, I vacuum for you. Why are you saying it like it was scripted? <laughs> That's right, you did vacuum for me, but so why, did you, why did you That's say it? That's more time Honey, for us to be together and watch your favorite me. movies. My favorite movie? I don't watch movies. <laughs> okay, I guess yeah. I don't have vacuuming to do. Yay, thank you, Weston. You're welcome. <laughs> I will be taking out the garbage, though, Catcher. and uh, making sure the kitchen's Catcher. all buttoned up and doing the lunch packing. We have those backpacks hung up. Tomorrow's an exciting day.
not every school day is gonna look like uh, lunches that I made to look like that. It might just be PB and J and a cheese stick. They're not always gonna have shoes that match each other. <laughs> But tomorrow, since it's the first day of school, I thought we'd put our best foot forward and get them excited about it. I am going to say goodbye to this video. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me while I got my to-do list done today. Thank you, Weston, for helping me uh, get the vacuuming done. Check that off the list. He even made me dinner. It's waiting over there. <laughs> uh, I hardly made anything. Well, opening a can of soup <laughs> and getting some sourdough bread toasting? That sounds really good to me, so thank you. Thank you guys for watching today's video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, especially if you wanna see more get it all done with me videos here on this channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are. Thanks for spending a little part of it here with me on my channel and I'll catch you later. Yesterday there was sun and there was rain.